Ladies and gentlemen, let me take you on a journey through the life and legacy of one of Hollywood's most iconic figures, the incomparable Clark Gable. Born William Clark Gable on February 1, 1901, in Cotties, Ohio, he was the son of William Henry Gable, an oil driller, and Adeline Herschelman. Gable's early life was marked by tragedy, losing his mother at a young age and being raised by his father and stepmother. Despite the hardships, young Clark developed a strong work ethic and a determination to succeed. His path to stardom was not immediate. After dropping out of high school, Gable worked in various odd jobs, including as a lumberjack and a telephone lineman. However, his love for theater and acting soon led him to pursue a career in entertainment. Gable began his acting journey in the theater, honing his craft on stage before making his way to Hollywood. In 1924, he made his film debut in a silent film titled Forbidden Paradise. Although his early roles were minor, Gable's undeniable talent and charisma quickly caught the attention of audiences and filmmakers alike. It wasn't until 1931 that Gable's career truly took off when he starred opposite Joan Crawford in Dance, Fools, Dance. His breakthrough role came later that year in the film A Free Soul, for which he received critical acclaim and earned his first Academy Award nomination. But it was his portrayal of the roguish Rhett Butler in the 1939 epic Gone with the Wind that cemented Gable's place in cinematic history. His electrifying chemistry with co-star Vivian Lee in his iconic delivery of the line, Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn, captured the hearts of audiences worldwide and earned him the Academy Award for Best Actor. Throughout the 1930s and 1940s, Gable reigned as the King of Hollywood, starring in a string of successful films such as It Happened One Night, Mutiny on the Bounty, and Boom Town. His rugged charm, impeccable timing, and undeniable presence made him one of the highest paid and most sought after actors of his time. Off screen, Gable's personal life was just as captivating as his on screen persona. He was married five times, with his most famous marriage being to actress Carol Lombard, whom he wed in 1939. Tragically, their love story was cut short when Lombard died in a plane crash in 1942, leaving Gable devastated. Despite the personal loss, Gable continued to captivate audiences with his performances well into the 1950s and beyond. He starred in memorable films such as Magambo and The Misfits, alongside screen legends like Marilyn Monroe and Montgomery Clift. As the golden age of Hollywood began to fade, Gable remained a symbol of timeless charisma and talent. His last film, The Misfits, released in 1961, showcased his unparalleled acting prowess and served as a fitting swan song to his illustrious career. Tragically, Clark Gable passed away on November 16, 1960, at the age of 59, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire generations of actors and audiences alike. His contributions to cinema are immeasurable, and his impact on the art of acting will never be forgotten. Despite his towering presence on screen, Gable's personal life was not without its challenges. His marriages, while reflective of the complexities of human relationships, often faced public scrutiny. His first marriage to Josephine Dillon, a theater coach who mentored him early in his career, ended in divorce in 1930. Gable then married Maria Langham, but their union was short-lived, lasting only a year. In 1931, Gable married Rhea Langham, but their union was brief. It wasn't until 1939 that Gable found lasting love with actress Carol Lombard. Their marriage was the epitome of Hollywood glamour, with the couple frequently gracing the covers of magazines and attending star-studded events. Tragically, their happiness was cut short when Lombard perished in a plane crash while returning from a war bond rally in 1942. Gable was devastated by her loss and reportedly never fully recovered. In addition to his personal life, Gable's career also faced challenges. Despite his immense popularity, he struggled with typecasting and the pressure to maintain his image as the quintessential leading man. However, Gable was not one to be confined by expectations. He continuously sought out roles that showcased his range as an actor, often surprising audiences with his versatility. One of Gable's most notable performances came in 1945 with Adventure, in which he played against type as a rugged outdoorsman. The film was a departure from his usual suave persona and demonstrated his willingness to take risks as an actor. As the decades passed, Gable's health began to decline, exacerbated by his lifelong love of smoking. Despite his deteriorating health, he remained committed to his craft, delivering powerful performances until the very end. 
His final film, The Misfits, directed by John Huston and written by Arthur Miller, is a poignant reflection on the passage of time and the search for meaning in a changing world. Gable's portrayal of an aging cowboy grappling with his own mortality is hauntingly poignant and serves as a fitting farewell to a legendary career. In the years since his passing, Gable's influence on cinema has only grown stronger. His timeless performances continue to inspire actors and filmmakers around the world, and his status as a Hollywood icon remains unchallenged. Whether he was charming audiences with his trademark grin or breaking hearts with his poignant performances, Clark Gable will forever be remembered as one of the greatest actors to ever grace the silver screen. In conclusion, the life and legacy of Clark Gable are a testament to the enduring power of talent, perseverance, and passion. From his humble beginnings in rural Ohio to his reign as the King of Hollywood, Gable's journey is a source of inspiration for generations to come. As we reflect on his remarkable career and indelible impact on cinema, may we always remember the man behind the legend, a true icon whose star continues to shine brightly in the annals of film history.